well, well, back again, back again, and this is the return of Meme of the Week, and we have today our 36th episode, Would You Adam and Eve It, quite a few now, although uh, you would be hard pushed to find all 35 of them now. Thanks to YouTube, who deleted my channel. Hip hip hooray, right? Of course that was for your safety. And today, was it no, yesterday, I got another email and another video removed from my deleted channel once again. Uh, I've lost count now how many have been removed since it even got deleted. And it was a video in regards to masks. These wonderful fucking masks that they want everybody to wear. Unless, of course, you've had your wonder job. Fantastic, right? Sure, of course, masks are fucking useless. And when we, that video that they removed, when we touched on them in terms of masks, they were horrid horrid things straight up and YouTube can hit me with a fucking strike if they want. I simply could not care. I hate them. Uh, YouTube is the heart of the fucking beast. Let's face it, uh, that being Google and of course their mother uh, company, Alphabet, a beast of a company, an absolute monster. Uh, it just shouldn't be the control that they have. What YouTube are doing, like I have said, it is terrible. And it is a crime. It is a serious crime against humanity. I got a comment uh, about a week ago, not even that, from a subscriber. Uh, I think she has followed me now for quite a while. And she asked me what I thought about the situation, there was a situation in Glasgow where someone who was being, uh, what's the word, I'm looking, deported, he was an illegal immigrant, but a crowd gathered and it got stopped and the person wanted to know what I thought about it and when I went back to let her know, YouTube had deleted it straight up. I've seen even comments like, well done, great video, and I go back to reply, and it's gone, deleted, removed, uh, and it happens quite a lot. I've seen comments like that, that have been held for review, like they're bad, when they're clearly good comments. Uh, the AI system at YouTube it is needing switched off and switched on again. But let's face it, it needs destroyed straight up. And in terms of YouTube, I did actually get another email about terms and conditions. Hip, hip, hooray. And it's all change once again. Fantastic, right? We are not worthy. Three cheers for the thought police. At YouTube. But in terms of the question that the lady had asked, uh, it's a tough one, really. I believe she thought that the situation may have been staged. That is a possibility. Uh, I couldn't rule that out. If someone's being deported or evicted in Scotland, it is likely to draw a crowd, to be fair. Uh, the majority of Scottish people, uh, I believe, wouldn't want to see anyone get deported or evicted. So they probably would say, uh, hey, wait a minute, that ain't happening. Uh, in terms of them being here illegally, that's kind of a different story. I guess that would be for the, for the police to decide. But they're useless. And when it comes to immigration, uh, it ain't their fault. 
let's face it, I can't blame them. What the agenda has done is manipulate the immigration situation to suit, of course, a lot of the media in the UK, they will make out, they sort of make out that uh, immigrants are the enemy or anyone is the fucking enemy. There's always an enemy. But really, when you get down to it, we are all, each and every one of us, me, you, and the immigrant from down the road who just wants a better life. We are all victims to the corrupt fucking entities that control our governments. So I really can't blame them. It's not their fault. But I don't know. I personally wouldn't immigrate from Scotland. Uh, holiday, yes. Uh, <laughs> but possibly not anymore, given the wonder job fucking passport. They can ram that where the sun don't shine. Uh, I might end up an illegal immigrant myself. Uh, watch this space, right? Uh, living here in Lockdown fucking Avenue in Murrayshire. Anyway, quite a long intro uh, today, but we will now crack on with Meme of the Week. And thank you to everyone who takes part. Of course, the last episode deleted but on BitChute and possibly Odyssey, which I am on. Both of them I will link in. And we do indeed have a draw. And it was between number three and number four. Right, so uh, there you go. We do often, uh, very rarely, get a draw. Number three was the biggest atrocity of all is to indoctrinate our children into a system that does not value their creative expression nor encourage their unique abilities. Yep, <laughs> does that sound familiar? I bet it fucking does. That is, of course, the education system as we knew it, or as we once knew it. Because it's all change now. We know where it's heading. Smart fucking classrooms. Smart fucking cities. And that has always, always been the plan. But speaking of plans, they will indeed use different tools and agendas that they can weaponize to make it happen. The future of education, O-E-R's. What's this then? May 13th, 2021. Open Education Resources. Right. The pandemic has provided a tantalising glimpse of the potential of open educational resources. Right. Rebecca Poole asks... Will they become our new normal? Hip, hip, fucking hooray. Right, of course, this has been in the pipeline for a long, long time. But thanks to the pandemic, we had a tantalising glimpse of what the future may hold. So we really are lucky. Thank you, pandemic. Sure, is hybrid learning the future of education? Hmm, I wonder. More than 1.2 billion children in 186 countries got affected by school closures due to the pandemic. This forced educational institutions to adopt online technologies at breakneck speed. Yep, but at what fucking cost? Now, the system, it was bad enough, let's face it, but it ain't going to get any fucking better. No way. Six years ago, Larry Cuban on school reform 
and classroom practice, the school of the future. Automated classrooms. Hip hip hooray, right? Technological fantasies of the future school have been around for decades. Right, here's one from 1910. Note all of the information going into students' heads comes from textbooks fed into a wood chipper. Huh, now ain't that uh, something? Of course, I will, I will indeed let you see it. Here it is, in all her glory, 1910, the school of the future, right? Uh, yeah, there's the wood chipper, and it's feeding info into the brain, a bit like the Neuralink, or the Neuralace, our pal Elon, possibly. It says there, England, 2000, so a wee bit off the mark, although, what year is it really? Who knows, right? Don't ask me. Uh, I don't even fucking know that anymore. What do we really know? That's the question. Here's another. Uh, 1963, a cartoon, The Jetsons. Now, this came out in the 60s, but even I grew up watching the fucking Jetsons. And here it is, the robot teacher. Uh, is anyone good at mathematics? Can you work out the equation on the board? Don't ask me. Uh, when it comes to mathematics, anything to do with numbers, uh, I'm out, straight up. But there's more as well. Or this one, in 1982, predicting that the future school will be monopolised by the then-dominant company Atari. Huh. Now, ain't that interesting? I wonder who the dominant company will be. Will it be Apple? Or Samsung, or Microsoft, or the monster company, Tyrannical, at the very least, Google, will it be them? Uh, this one, as you can see, I don't think is far off the mark, to be fair. Uh, some of them have helmets. Is that a VR, or is that a breathing apparatus, given that, yeah, Convid, right? Uh, a picture on the wall. Is that a Mars landing or a moon landing that is yet to happen? <laughs> right, of course. Uh, in my opinion, they never went to the moon. What they showed us was never real. No way. They may have been, I don't know, but what they showed us did not prove in any way, shape or form that they went. In fact, it kind of proves that they didn't, right? And to continue with this, uh, I did see this article here. Technology trends in education, present and future for schools. And this again was six years ago that it came out. And I seen this quote from the famous Malcolm X murdered. Of course, education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Yep, today. Right? But what have we been doing in terms of humanity? Nothing. We have constantly been distracted throughout our lives with manipulation while at the same time, life as we knew it gets destroyed and they build what they want as a future, not what we want. We don't want these classrooms of the future. We don't want them. We don't want classrooms that are run by algorithms because that's what it will be. Like this journalist who got interviewed said, 
Something other than humans is running the show. What's that? Algorithms. Of course, it's AI. We don't want AI educating our children. We don't want them controlling uh, our lives. We don't want it. Straight up. Anyway, on that note, we will now leave our joint winner and education. Right, I think though, uh, sometime in the future, I will make a video about education and where it is all going and we can reflect on where it once was because it ain't going to be there anymore. It's been forever changing. Of course, they haven't rushed it through, but COVID is, like many other things, the final nail in the education coffin. Right, and number four, it has to get a mention, our joint winner. The more I awaken, the less I desire to fit in. Yep. And I would imagine that everyone who watches this channel can indeed relate to this. You will know exactly what it's like. Uh, it was bad enough pre-plandemic, but now it's fucking tenfold. Uh, the sheeple, they are batshit fucking crazy. Or is bat soup crazy <laughs> a better way to describe it? Uh, I think each and all of us, the sheeple, and probably us included, due to our imprisonment, could be suffering from effects. We have touched on effects of isolation and lockdown. Lockdown is house arrest. It's imprisonment. The opposite of imprisonment is freedom. So when that's taken away, you are in prison. Straight fucking up. We touched on the effects before, but just quickly. Imprisonment can lead to delusions, paranoia, depression, suicidal tendencies, substance abuse. PTSD, as well as increased levels of hostility. And I have lately noticed quite a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook pointing out that they have been seeing an increase in aggression, mainly from the vaccinated, right? So that will be something that we will keep an eye on and touch on it again in the future. <laughs> so look out for it and let me know uh, if you have witnessed or are witnessing the same increase in aggression, right? And last week's show, like I did say, it is on BitChute. So thank you kindly to the two followers or subscribers on BitChute, my good brother, Aaron Lyons, who also put a great comment and his vote, do not comply, straight up, he voted for number four. So thank you kindly to Aaron Lyons and thank you for all your support over on BitChute. And yeah, we had a maximum of two votes, right? One each. Of course, the majority of votes, we usually get about 50 or 60 but because of the deletion, we had a total of two. Hip, hip, parade, right? But hey, we still got there and we still had our episode. So the other person between two ages, thank you kindly for putting in your vote. You listened because I did say uh, you would have to jump over to BitChute and put in your vote. So remember that for next time because this will be the last episode on YouTube. YouTube I will now only use to advertise my shows from BitChute and Odyssey. Now, like I did say, I will link Odyssey and BitChute in, and if you enjoy the content, that's where to go. 
because I ain't going to be here for much longer, right? It's going to be coming very soon. Either I will be deleted or I will have had enough of the tyrannical measures that YouTube persist on. Anyway, this is Meme of the Week and we can now get down to what we have all been waiting for, the top five. Are you ready? Good. This is number one. The only thing worse than not thinking is thinking like everyone else. And this, of course, comes from the Freemason himself, Eric Blair, or George Orwell, as most people will know him as. But I got this from Twitter, and someone had tweeted saying, uh, I'm sure death is worse than all of them. And I replied saying, says, who? Right, who knows? But this is number two. You ever do some deep investigating, but then realise you can't talk about it because people will think you're crazy. Yep, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt long, long ago. Uh, it gets to a point where you don't actually care what people think and you shouldn't anyway. Fuck them, right? You do you and get on with your life and look after yourself, your family. This is number three. Without government, who would arrest 90-year-old World War II veterans for feeding the homeless? Absolute criminals. Put them in jail. Throw away the key. The government and the police. That is. Number four. Who are you voting for? Yep. And of course, the politicians. They all have a sugar daddy at the likes of Pfizer or Shell or Goldman Sachs. Great stuff, right? <laughs> Number five. It's Jim Morrison. Whoever controls the media controls the mind. Yep. Jim sure. Jim sure knew the score. Uh, I believe Jim also involved with secret societies. Many celebrities, of course, they are fucking knee deep in the shit. I think Jim, through his family, right, sort of born into it, probably realised what it was and hated it. But there you go. I did like uh, The Doors, actually. I do enjoy listening to a few of their songs, right? Anyway, that is it for this week's Meme of the Week. Quite a long one today. I try and make it 15 minutes, but a few things to get into, as always. But yeah, thank you kindly to everyone who puts in their vote. And like I did said, did say even uh, Odyssey and Bitshoot, it will be the only show in town with the way it's going. Uh, I, I really can't stress that enough. I will be gone from here at some point soon. And yeah, you can put in your vote here today. But next week, the episode will be on Odyssey and Bitshoot only. Right, and here on YouTube, I will put the odd update to direct people in the right direction. Right, to meme of the week, the syndrome, and of course, the Friday fix, which will return this Friday. Right, and I do have a few other videos that I want to make, especially my Bill Cooper video. Uh, that's going to be a cracker, so look out for it. And thank you once again to everyone and for the kind emails regarding the deletion. Uh, everyone gutted about it. The channel was doing really well. We had a great community. It was fantastic. So a lot of people do miss it. I am also on Telegram. So I will link in Odyssey, Bitshoot and Telegram. Right? So hit me up. And that is about it. Bye-bye.